Jim, you are. I just heard you now. Can you hear me? I can hear you, Jim. We are live again. Oh, uh, fantastic. We'll try that intro again because it looked like my <laughs> microphone was the one that came off. So, okay. uh, yeah. Um, ladies and gentlemen, the man, the myth, the legend, the creator of all the great memes, um, it is Mr. Jim Kellner. Please give a virtual round of applause for Jim. Um, there we go. Thank you all. Thank you so much for having me on the show, Grant. Oh, and there uh, you go. See, my guests will not believe you are from the other side of the pond with an accent like that. That's what I'm trying to say. I'm, I'm brilliant, quite brilliant. I I am, I'm looking forward to playing British roles anytime people would like to have me do that. Oh, oh yes, 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 absolutely. So, um, obviously, um, great to have you on board. Fellow stage hypnotist and hypnotherapist, motivational speaker and fitness model. Fitness model, yes. Now, Fit the part, we're still, you know, still taking off, still taking off. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's definitely. Get, I must admit, all joking aside, and people won't know what we're on about, but there was a picture you shared a couple of weeks yeah. ago about your previous you. Um, and your right. transformation is absolutely amazing. So, you know, round of applause for that. A um, couple of things. What, how are things in the state? I mean, I know here, I know I literally had one week where I started the week a successful stage hypnotist and ended the week a, a, a well, I don't even know what I am at the moment, yeah. <laughs> um, um, but not a successful stage hypnotist. I am a, I'm a, I'm a hoover upper, a washing up. I'm doing my chores at home and trying to keep busy. Um, but the work right. overnight just disappeared. How is it over there? It was same, same here, man. It was, uh, and it was, it was like overnight, you know, kept, kept kind of holding our breath, you yeah. know, right there in, in like February. And then we got into March and then um, I had this, I had this really big gig that I do every year um for an organization and it was literally uh it was the evening like two two days before the governor here of the state put out this um this restriction on any parties over any events over 250 people and i got the call that night and wow. i was like you sure you don't want to just just do it <laughs> <laughs> so, i must admit it's been it's it's been bizarre i mean you say huh. that from what well, I, I don't know I mean, the reality of what I see on the news and what's really going out there is two different things, but I see you've got yeah. people protesting in the streets now to try and get people back yeah. to work. That's uh, yeah. I mean, that's, that's here. It's the opposite. Like tonight at eight o'clock, we have a thing where everybody comes outside the houses and claps and cheers and bangs pans for the, uh, for the national health service, for the mm. nurses and key workers sort of thing. Do you have anything like that over in the States for you guys? Yeah, actually my colleague, my friend, uh, Jim Lutz, who's another hypnotist, um, he's down in uh, San Diego and uh, he keeps posting videos like every couple nights of them doing that down there. I think they are doing it in certain areas. I don't know if they're doing it here. Um, certainly not in the area that I'm at. Um, so I'm, I'm just being told to straighten my mini beard. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I, I, wouldn't, I was like, okay, I got to get my jacket on and my shirt and everything. And I come on. Oh, well. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's casual. It's casual. You know this. You know this. <laughs> Bless. Uh, that's that's Lan who looks after my uh, everything, really, to be fair. Um, yeah, so, um, I mean, we brought you on one to talk about the difference between the kind of the, the UK and the US. Um, I, I must admit, we were both due to speak at HypnoBiz New York. Um, yeah. You know, and I, I had a great calendar of stuff coming up, and I'm sure you did too, and then all of a sudden that's all just – that's. I mean, where's Hypno, where's Hypno Thoughts at at the moment? Is that still going ahead? You know, they say it is, but – you know, who knows? I, I, at this yeah. point, I don't, even, you know, it's like, even if they lifted the restrictions now, there's going to be so many people that haven't bought their airfare and stuff or booked their yeah. hotels because they're afraid it's not going to happen. And, um, I think that, I mean, it's, I think before we started, this is what I was just, I had this real realization in the shower. Cause I'm, you know, I'm going, okay, they're going to end. I've had a few of them too. They're going to, they're going to end this. And I was like, well, even once they end it, you know, that when, once they say, okay, you can do a public events now, it's going to be three months before I book anything. Right. Yeah. I mean, yeah. before people actually go, okay, I guess it's going to be safe. And then people are going to come out. It's like you said, it's just devastating. It was just yeah. such a hit. And it's, you know, the funny thing is, is I really thought I was di diversified because, yeah. you know, I do, I do, uh, you know, I do, I do the stage shows. I do speaking events. Yeah. I teach some, some classes and stuff. And, and then, of course, the conferences, and I'm like, you know, I mean, I do still have the hypnotherapy part, but yeah. most of my income 
you know, was coming from all that stuff. And it yeah. was like, wow, I'm not as diverse as I thought I was. I, exactly the same though. I thought, I, you know, I thought, well, if that area slows down, I've got this area, I've got this. Right. I've got, and all yeah. of a sudden, overnight, <laughs> everything. And it's like, ah, oh, well, there you go. Um, yeah. But yeah. in New York last year, uh, you were doing a course on exactly this, about how to take your your therapy practice online via Zoom, if I remember rightly. So, yeah. I mean, that's, you know, you're ahead of the curve in, in, in you know, ahead of most people in that sense that you, you've you already been doing that. It's amazing to see how many people uh, are trying to go online now. So uh, we've got Jason <laughs> Lee Morgan's just saying hello. Uh, Jason's hey. a Welsh hypnotist. Uh, in my darkest moment when I was kind of like, I'm going to have to end up getting a job in a supermarket, uh, Jason's gone, pull your pants up, stop being a girl. <laughs> And do something. <laughs> so I'm like, oh, cheers, Jason. You're right, actually. <laughs> um, so Dude, yeah, I, was, I was, I've been. I mean, over this whole this whole couple of eight weeks or whatever, I've had that thought many times. Like, you know, maybe it is time just give this up, man. Yeah. Because even even when it's good, it's still it's not a steady paycheck. Like, yeah. right, you know, sometimes you're you're rich, and sometimes you're like, oh man, when's that next gig coming up? You know, at least oh. for me. And so, um, I get the temptation of wanting to go go get that regular paycheck every couple of weeks. Yeah. I mean, I mean, it's weird. I mean, the, the, I, without getting all political and, and going really into it, because it's a fun show, this rather than a deep show. But right, I think I think we're suffering now, but I think the yeah. knock-on effect that we're going to see um, in in the world economy, um, yeah. I think people with oh. jobs and job security um, are the right. ones that are, you know they're going to have the knock-on effect as well. Uh, Jason, yeah. Jason says, don't give up. <laughs> Jason, just just for you, just for you, uh, you're Welsh. I'm gonna I'm gonna do my Welsh accent now. <laughs> How was that? That that was fantastic. Can I just say that Jim Jim Kellner's uh, opinions are his of his own and do not reflect <laughs> the opinions of Grant Saunders for any of my Welsh friends listening. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to watch I tried to watch this TV show that was uh, set in Britain. Um, it was a detective show, and the the lead character, the detective, was Welsh. I couldn't understand a damn word he said. <laughs> No, I'm trying to think what show that is. I'm I sure some. I'm sure some. Sure some will know it that. A, it was a great show, man, but I could not understand a word that guy said. <laughs> well, I mean, that's how we feel when we're watching American cop shows. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I've, I've learned to translate the word awesome. But in fact, in fact, Jason, there we go. He says that's great, boyo. He's actually translated your Welsh for you. <laughs> Thank you. you. Thank you, Jason. When, when Jason, when we first did this with Jason, I've, I've really built up. I've gone, we've got Jason, the Welsh hypnotist that's on. It's going to be amazing. He's going to do his induction in Welsh. And he sent me a message Whoa. and he went, Grant, I don't, I don't speak Welsh. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, so it's, it's a bit of a, it's, yeah, it's, I mean, we fly by the seat of his pants. It's all just good fun, this. Uh, uh, ah, Christine yeah, Bob and said so we've you. all got to get together uh, when we come out with this. Uh, which means yeah. Christine is going to buy my flights so me and Christine right. can come and visit you. <laughs> That's right. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah. Excellent. So uh, whereabouts are you in, in the U.S.? Are you in a warm bit or a cold bit? Oh, God, Grant, Grant, it's bad news all the way around. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm in Seattle. And, uh, oh. and, and you know, it's, Seattle's a beautiful place. It's sunny um, several days a year. <laughs> um, so... so um, you know, it's I'm and I'm not that guy. I, I you lived here for like 20 years. I moved to Arizona a few oh. years ago, and I just travel back and forth because I like to be. I don't like to be cold, and uh, <laughs> and now I'm stuck here. And like yeah. you said, I mean, I was supposed to. You know what's really what really? Oh, you know what I'm so sad about is this was my year to go to Europe. I was going to Amsterdam and you yeah. know for Amsterdam. You know, Europe. I had I had big plans for you in Amsterdam, Jim. Oh. I'll, I'll tell yeah. you, I've, I've been there I, yeah. in my youth. I, I think I went there eight times in one year. Um, oh. <laughs> I've, I've grown up since then, <laughs> uh, but yeah, I, I love Amsterdam. It's a, it's a it's a beautiful city full of lots of culture. So uh, yeah. tell me tell me more tell me more about it, Grant. Tell uh, me more. Tu uh, tulips, oh, tulips, <laughs> clogs, cheese, um, and and culture. Loads of culture. <laughs> culture. culture. I, love, I, do love culture. I yes. do love culture. So. Exactly, exactly. So, um, I brought you on to talk about funny bits. Uh, you sent me a clip, uh, which is your uh, a, a, well, I'll let you introduce the clip. But what I'll do is I'm going to come off the screen, I'm going to put your clip on the screen, 
once you've introduced oh. it, I'll make you disappear. The, the skit will do its bit, and then we'll both come back on, and you can tell me why you think this is a great skit. I know I like this skit, but you can tell me why you like it. So I'm going to disappear. Yeah, yeah. You can really introduce your skit. We can almost wow. like we've rehearsed this. Wow. Okay, so um, one of the one of the very popular bits that uh, comedy hypnotists have done over the years is uh, they take they take someone and they make them uh, speak a foreign language and they're a stand up comic. And uh, you know, there's so the thing with stage hypnosis is there's a lot of um, uh, a lot of us are using the same stuff over and over again. We're just we're just using we're just doing different versions of it. Um, we, you know, we have our, you know, maybe our signature bits, but we're, you know, we're you know, doing other people's, not other people's stuff necessarily, but stuff that's been passed down to generations anyway. So the common one, the one that, that used to be like really popular was to tell somebody that they're a stand up comedian and they only speak Chinese. Well, as you can imagine, that doesn't go over very well now. So I tried it with a couple different things. I tried uh, German and French, and I thought those would be okay. Cause I'm European heritage or something but somebody after a show told me that that could be offensive so anyway i don't think anyone could be offended by this one because now when i ask you know when i ask when i um when i make somebody speak a different language they speak klingon roll tape <laughs> now i understand now if i heard right that he's actually on klingon he's a uh, stand-up comic is that right yes uh, so, um we just ask him if he'd like to tell us a few jokes it's a good one. Does he have any others? Such little fluff. Absolutely fantastic, that Jim. Thanks. Oh, just uh, oh, let me just uh, there you go. I'll bring me on as well. I've switched. I've changed. We've changed sides oh. now, as if by magic. Um, yeah, yes. uh, I really like. I like the the pacing of that as well. If you know what I mean. Um, and and the extra bit where he, just where he sits down and checks his pocket. I know. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. I, I always try and tell this to people when it comes to stage. Yeah. Sometimes it's not this. Right. It's that little thing. The checking yeah. of the pocket to me. Dude. I don't know what was going through his mind. I know as well. Dude, me yeah. too. That's it, it is. It's those. And you know, as as a stage hypnotist, you know, we never know how they're going to interpret what we say too. Yeah. And so yeah. sometimes that can be crazy. But yeah, the way the way he, you know, he does this and he and he checks his pocket. It was like this. This guy was amazing. He's he's probably the best. Although I did have a woman who got in a fight with with uh, who was doing Klingon and then got in a fight with somebody who was Vulcan and and Klingon and. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. You don't want an intergalactic battle on your stage. Exactly, exactly. It's it's a great way of doing it, like you said, though, with the whole, uh, you know, even though the, the intention of the skit is not to be offensive or racist or anything right. like that, yeah. um, it's how it can be interpreted, and especially in the modern times, the whole Japanese-Chinese thing. Right. I, I, I used to do a, th a thing, and it's not it's not very uh, it's not very original, but I do a thing where somebody says, uh, when something happens, they'll say ping, or if something else happens, they'll say pong. And I have it as a bit of a callback. So they're constantly saying ping and pong. I was at a very, very nice corporate show. Mm. And one of the directors is on stage who is Japanese, of, of Japanese descent. Right. Yeah. And literally, you know, this is a good gig with good people. It's all very clean. And I've fired yeah. the trigger without thinking about it. She's kind of sat up, looked straight at him in the eye, and in the worst Japanese act ever, has oh. just kind of gone, peek, pong. Oh. And I'm like, no. Oh, no. And in all my time, I've, that's the first time I saw it, and I'm like, oh, my goodness me. And it's just, yeah. you could feel the atmosphere in the right. room just kind of go, 
So yeah, you yeah. kind of run over as fast as you can, kind of sleep and get rid of that one. But yeah, that's it. <laughs> but yeah, Klingon is a great way of doing it. So yeah. and it's, I suppose it's it's the closest foreign language that people might understand. You know that's uh, that's true. Yeah, yeah. I and mean, to be fair, I mean, it is an actual language by all accounts, apparently. Um, <laughs> it sounded it sounded authentic and it sounded real. Sometimes you get people that kind of. They waffle something, but they yeah. run out of sounds. Whereas right. that, yeah. was, that, that was that was a language. That was that was something there. And like I said, the yeah. sitting down and the check in the pocket was uh, was, was great. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, and, like, and I mean, and like you said, I mean, um, it is it is interesting because um, now I, I saw something in uh, there was like a somebody did a Dutch video or something it's, that was like, what does English sound like um, if it was gibberish? And it was really interesting because I can't even do English gibberish, of course, because I, I speak the language, right? I mean, it's, oh, I, can't, I, mean, I don't even know how to do it. Yeah. But um, but it is interesting because you know, and I and I I'm guessing that that you know our language sounds just as uh, I, I don't want to get in trouble, but just as mm, unusual yes. <laughs> to people who speak like one of the Asian languages or yeah, e yeah. even Russian. Yeah. Like that. yeah. yeah. Uh, it'd be interesting to find out that, but then I suppose to ask a native speaker from an Asian thing that doesn't understand English might get confusing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But I wonder if it would work if you took a person that spoke Chinese and had them be a stand up comic that only spoke English. <laughs> oh, yeah. I like, I like, I like the sound of that. <laughs> I, once, I once did a show for some retired German people uh, mm. that couldn't speak English, uh, and that mm. was uh, one of the worst shows I ever did. <laughs> <laughs> I'd, like, somebody... I'd like to have thought that at some point when they go into a different level of trance they have an automatic understanding of the english language of no it, it just turns out that when they close yeah. their eyes they yeah. have even less understanding of what's going on <laughs> <laughs> you know the thing that gets me though is like and i don't know who booked the show of course but i mean that, that some booker said hey you don't speak german they don't speak english what a great match oh it Literally, they've come to me and kind of gone, oh, do, you speak, do you speak any other languages, Grant? And I've gone, uh, no. And I've, I've, I've traveled for this, you know. There's nowhere I can kind of go, I'm off home now. Um, accommodation a lot. You know, do you speak any other? No. Oh, well, they're, they're all re retired Germans and their English is <laughs> Speak slowly. I'm like, okay. Do you know what I mean? Don't use any big words. I'm like, I don't, I don't know any big words. <laughs> You're killing me. Oh. So yeah, but oh, I it's really joys about doing the job that, that we do, if you know what I mean. Oh, um, yeah. An interesting question, just to throw it out there. I, I was kind of looking at my uh, my book collection, uh, and I kind of thought, what an interesting thing if we get a guest on a, a you know someone like yourself, if you were to recommend one hypnosis book for any of the hypnotherapist or the hypnotist watching, what what would it be? I mean, it doesn't necessarily have to be you know something deep and meaningful. It's just you know I think everyone has a book. Uh, yeah, Jules B. Um, I would, you know, I would probably say, uh, can I do two? <laughs> uh, I'm going to say, uh, Americans Orman are all the same. <laughs> exactly. I always want more. I want more. It's going to be bigger. <laughs> it's, our, it's our turn for that, Grant. You guys did that for centuries. It's our turn now. That's it. That's it. <laughs> um, I would say uh, for for stage hypnosis, I would say um, uh, Orman Orman McGill's book. Um, yeah. I think. It's I think it's called stage hypnosis, actually. Oh, yeah, the encyclopedia of stage hypnosis. Yeah. Um, and then um, for uh, just hypnosis in general, you got to read Dave Ellman. You, know, yeah, you got to yeah, read yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. You, you I mean, have to. I mean, it's, yeah. It's required reading, kids. <laughs> yeah. I must admit, it's it, uh, the uh, the Dave Ellman hypnotherapy, uh, the green book, um, I still have on my bedside table. Um, you know what's funny? I actually have his red. I have it in red. Oh. And um, I talked to um, you know, his son. <laughs> <laughs> yes, back, we didn't even have green coloring. It was only red. <laughs> we, we colored it with whatever. That's not going to be funny. Never mind. Let's we'll stop. <laughs> <laughs> I'm working. I'm working. But no, his son, Larry. Larry, I told uh, Larry Elman about it at one of the conferences, and he's and uh, we were talking about it, and he and he mentioned the green book, and I go, oh yeah, mine's red. And he goes, oh wow, that's that's pretty rare. There aren't very many of those. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, the Americans are. We get all the good stuff. Exactly, exactly. But yeah, I see you guys have got murder hornets as well now. Oh, yes. Yep, that's, exactly. 
Yeah. Not just not just hornets, not just wasps, yeah. like really murder hornets. You know, you can watch it. You can watch a guy on on YouTube actually get stung by one, and it does not look fun. He he does it on purpose too. This guy, what? oh, and he lets a, a black widow spider crawl all over his hand and stuff, and he's a nut job. Yeah. Wow. It, it's surprising what people will do for that um, that release that they get from that like, from that share of that stuff online. Totally. If you know what I mean? Yeah, absolutely. It's, uh, I, I know. Believe me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, must, I must admit, I remember we were talking in New York and just waffling on a little bit. I know we've got some hypnotherapists that are watching. And I remember you were talking about, I think it was about the uh, explaining hypnosis to children video that kind of, you know, that went that went viral. Fairly. Mm. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah. And, it, and we're talking about, about having your business prepared and ready for when that type of thing happens. You know, that's, you know, such a, a great reminder. Um, I had no idea there was this, you know, I mean, it was so funny because I had, I had, I just done a TEDx talk and I thought that was going to, you know, skyrocket me to fame and fortune and got like 50,000 views or something, which isn't bad, but a lot of them get like, you know, millions. Damn it. Anyway. Um, <laughs> anyway. Um, yeah. I got, I got invited to this, this video and um, just hypnotizing kids and the kids aren't even my specialty. You know, I mean, I, I mean, I can, I'll, I'll work with them, but I mean, I, I prefer not to with hypnotherapy. I'll do fun stuff with them. And uh, this this thing just exploded. I mean, overnight, I was getting emails from India and Indonesia and all over the place. And uh, I didn't. And it turned out my store was broken at the time. I hadn't checked things recently. My store was broken. Uh, I didn't have the email thing set up with an autorespond. I mean, it was just all kinds of things where this is why I say, like, if you're going to go like 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 now, because I knew I was going to be on the Grant Saunders podcast. Everything's ready, folks. Everything's ready. Isn't it? Yeah. Boom, we're making money right now. I can hear the sound of, of till registers going now. Yeah, people are buying my books, my videos, everything right now. Um, damn, I'm pretty.com. Don't forget. And uh, so, uh, yeah, your range of merchandise, by the way. What, what's that? Your range of merchandise, the damn, I'm pretty. Yeah, don't, don't forget, guys. There it is. Boom, right there. Boom. There we go. Damn Product <laughs> Um, yeah, so I would say, you know, definitely you, you want to have that. You want to be ready for that because the thing is, is is once somebody and once somebody sees you on a video like that that's gotten so many views, man, they want to work with you. They really, they want whatever you've got. And I've got, you know, and, and if you don't have it available for them, uh, they're not going to come back probably. You know, you got one yeah. chance. Yeah, one chance. Absolutely. Yeah. And I think, you know, there's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of learning things from what's going on at the moment with everything about kind of having your systems in place and putting new systems in place. So, yeah, yeah, it's been, uh, it's been crazy. Uh, just a quick hello to uh, Julie Michelle Watson, uh, who's who's watching. Uh, oh, she says she wants one. There you go. You see, you know, yeah, I'm pretty dot com. There we go. Um, you, you've got t-shirts as well. Is it t-shirt? T-shirts. You've got everything. Coffee cups. Yeah, all that stuff. Yeah, Absolutely. and uh, I. I I, I can't even believe I was able to get that website, damnimpretty.com. Think people think I'm joking, but it, it really is damnimpretty.com. It, it is brilliant. It is brilliant. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Fantastic. It's been absolutely amazing. I'm so glad to have, have, have managed because I know you're a busy guy. Um, busy. Yeah. Managed to make space in your oh, Kaz Riley says hello. Hey, Kaz. There we go. Bless. Uh, we might try and convince Kaz to come on here as well. Bless her. Um, I send people yeah. to her all the time. Yes, she's uh, Kaz is an absolute amazing person. I mean, she's just she's just. I mean, obviously everybody in England lives next door to each other, um, but she's <laughs> literally she's, she's just up the road for me. Yeah, I don't want to do the kind of work she does, so I send them to Kaz. I'm like, oh, talk to Kaz. <laughs> yeah. um, oh, Lana Jennings says we should swap shirts. Oh, that's quite a good idea, actually. I'll send you a. Yeah. I'll send All you right. a Grant Saunders one. You can send me a damn I'm pretty one. Sounds good. Yeah. Uh, uh, well, I think that's what she was meaning, or maybe she yeah. thought she tuned into some kind of gay porn podcast. I don't know. <laughs> well, that's what you thought. So, I mean, you know. Yeah. I mean, what happens in New York stays in New York. <laughs> exactly. Come on. Very well, <laughs> Jim, it's been absolutely amazing. I'm going to put your website back on there. So, anyone that's watching this uh, can book Jim Kellner for shows, motivational speaking, hypnotherapy. Uh, just uh, if you want a meme creating, out of bacon, this is the guy to do it. A uh, fitness so, model. A uh, fitness model as well. Uh, I don't need to tell them that they can oh, see that, Jim. Good point. Good point. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Greg. Thank you very much for coming on. It's been an absolute pleasure. Thank you very much, buddy. 
Bye, man. Bye.